isn't fitness, this is fatness. It's a party, it's, it's just a good time and it's a celebration of cultures. I'm not your typical skinny, very cut aerobics instructor. I have curves. They're like, hmm, what this lady gonna do? And then I hit them with it. I feel like a community of people and I'm, I'm not really a social person, but this class alone makes me connect with the other women in the class and makes me move parts of my body that I had stopped moving in my 30s. I'm in my 50s now. You know, you have to get in a mental frame of mind to exercise. It's not easy, but once you get into it, you know, it becomes easier and easier. You love it, you sweat, and then when it's fun, it's, it isn't exercise anymore. It's just having fun, waking up. Soka isn't a rhythm. Soka is more than that. Soka is culture. Soka is a people. Soka is a feeling. It's a vibe. It's so much more than just a rhythm in Zumba. And you get into that flow. Once you start to dance to the rhythm, because you know you work on every beat, the rhythm, you drop in the steps, you go down in the valley with that music, you come back up on the high on clubs, everything, and it's just you let go. It's not your regular traditional Zumba class where it's kind of boring. Hers, she takes it, plays music from everywhere, and brings new moves all the time. But it takes more than knowing the moves and music. It takes this person really caring about what you're hearing, what you're moving to, and how we're all moving around each other. Women from all different walks of life coming together and coming to achieve the exact same goal, weight loss, health, fitness.